France's president tells his Chinese counterpart he's counting on him to bring Russia to its senses. Emmanuel Macron is in Beijing on a mission to push for peace in Ukraine and to repair frayed ties. Now, for the EU perspective on those trilateral talks with China, let's get over to Ross Cullen. He joins us live now from Paris. Ross, China says that it's willing to restart exchanges with the European Union. Is that an indication at all that talks went well between these three leaders? Yeah, it was important uh, for these talks to take place. Symbolic for Ursula von der Leyen as well. Dawn it was her first visit to China in her capacity as president of the European Commission. Emmanuel Macron's first trip to China as well since he was re-elected in 2022. But overall, this was a picture and a projection of European unity uh, to China, a very important trade partner, recognising it's the second biggest economy in the world. And that is a critical importance, the economic relationship between Brussels and and Beijing. And so there were some commercial deals and what's been expected as well with those business executives traveling to China. We know that Airbus, the European plane maker and one of the world's two biggest, along with the United States is Boeing. We know that Airbus has said it's going to double the capacity of the number of aeroplanes that it would like to be producing inside its factories uh, in China. That's one example of a high level uh, business deal uh, saying that there has been some positive green shoots on the economic side. But certainly, as you mentioned in the introduction, there has also been strong words coming from the European Union and from France when it comes to the war in Ukraine, with Emmanuel Macron saying that not only does he want to count on Xi Jinping to uh, bring Russia to its senses, but also counting on Xi Jinping to bring everyone to the negotiating table. At the moment, uh, the Chinese president has shown he's willing to go to Moscow uh, last month for in-person visits with Vladimir Putin, the Chinese leader saying that the relationship between Moscow and Beijing is a friendship with no limits. But so far, not a phone call, but also no physical visit by Xi Jinping to Kiev for talks with Volodymyr Zelensky, although China has proposed a position a paper of possible paths for peace. Uh, but in terms of the, uh, the response from the European Union, Ursula von der Leyen saying just a few moments ago, um, Dawn, that uh, Russia is the aggressor here and needs to stop its war uh, in Ukraine and that China... Uh, uh, respects the UN Charter, and the UN Charter says that every country is entitled to a respect for its territorial integrity and sovereignty. That's something that the EU says has been violated in Ukraine by Russia's aggression. All right, Ross, thank you for that update. Ross Cullen there reporting live for us from Paris.